I would like to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to Dr. Kevin Robert, President of the Heritage Foundation, for inviting me to give the address today. The Heritage Foundation stands out among the America's leading public policy institutions to promoting a truly interdisciplinary approach to understanding the politics of the econ and economics of East Africa. It is therefore a great pleasure and honor for me to exchange views today on Somaliland and the future of our region with such a distinguished participants. Ladies and gentlemen, today the whole world is a laser focusing on the tragedy in Ukraine. The shelling, the bombardment, the destruction, the death, the mass suffering, and the largest refugee crisis in Europe since the World War II. Today, the suffering of the people of Ukraine is unfolding in front of our eyes with the help of the 24-7 news cycle and the social media. For us, as Somalandres, the tragedy is reminiscent of the genocide committed against our people 33 years ago. A tragedy I myself witnessed firsthand on which over the 550,000 of our people were massacred in the hands of Somalia government at that time. And millions of our people became either refugees or were internally displaced. We feel the pain and the anguish that the people of Ukraine feel today because we went through the same experience. Only in our case, the genocide committed against our people was hidden from the world as at that time there were no 24 seven days news cycle on the social media. However, the better memory of what we went through is forever be memorialized in the minds and will never be forgotten by our people. Ladies and gentlemen, I come here before yesterday to tell and to talk about my country's progress, challenges, and the role our country plays in the security, stability, and economic development in our region and beyond. So Maryland, geopolitical significance and shared interest with the like-minded countries. First, the security situation in Somalia has deteriorated dramatically, proving a re-evaluation of the political consideration that embedded more direct engagement between the U.S. and Somaliland. As you will recall, the United States re-established diplomatic ties with Somalia in 2013 guided by a vision of an empowered central government in Mogadishu that could be that could build domestic unity among the disparate clans, degrade and defeat extremism, and protect its people and the neighbors from the scourge of terrorism and instability. That vision was unlikely not realized. Today, even the most committed empowering the Mogadishu regime have lost faith in that project. Time and time again, Mogadishu's partners have expended 
financial resource, diplomatic resources, and military resources with a little show to be with their effort. Regrettably, after nearly a decade of good intentions by Mogadishu partners and considerable U.S. and international assistance, the Somalia government, government lacks legitimacy and struggles to exercise its authority beyond Villa Somalia. It remains the source of instability in our fragile region. Secondly, the major development in the Horn of Africa has become a region of high strategic importance. In a difficult neighborhood, Somaliland's stability and reliability is increasingly recognized as an asset to the advancing the interest of countries with which we share the same values. In recent years, the stability of the Horn of Africa has been challenged by conflicts in the region, as well as the constantly evolving operations of terrorist groups. Instability and food security and food insecurity is further exacerbated by the drought, desertification, locust swarms, and climate change effects. Simultaneously, the Babylon Mandem Street has emerged as a vital strategic link in maritime trade routes connecting the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean. Significantly, portion of the world's oil passes through Babylon Mandem, as well as considerable trade between Europe and Asia. Its importance is reflected in the expansion of foreign military bases and build up of naval, naval forces in the Red Sea, as well as enhanced international cooperation to fight piracy and ensure maritime security. Great powers competition in Africa will continue for the foreseeable future in the environment in this environment, the United States should make clear it is support for governments that embrace democratic governance and stability in the midst of threats, instability, and external pressures. Major developments, so Maryland emerges as a trade and shipping hub. The modernization of Papa Port, the opening of a new international airport, and construction of commercial corridors to inland neighbors and connecting the Horn of Africa to global trade routes, serving as a linch, linchpin for new economic development in East Africa. Last June, our government and DP World of the Emirates inaugurated a new container terminal at Berbera Airport, marking the completion of the first phase of a significant port expansion project. This was followed in October with DP, with DP World and Britain's Development Finance Agency announcing plans to jointly invest a significant amount of money in logistics infrastructure in Africa, sharing with further modernization of Purpura Port. These investments, combined with the ongoing challenges in neighboring countries, make Somaliland the most stable and reliable conduit between much of East Africa and the world's major shipping lines. Taken together, these three developments, the challenges, the 
international community confronts in the Horn of Africa is increasingly strategic importance and Berber's potential to create a new economic engine for the region means that Somaliland is poised to become a key player in global security and economy. Somaliland and Somalia. Or Somaliland dialogue and Somalia. The Somaliland Somalia dialogue started with the London Conference of 23 February in 2012. Article 6 of the London Conference stated that the conference recognized the need for international community to support any dialogue that Somaliland and TFG transitional federal government or it is replacement may agree to establish to clarify their future relations. The key point here is to clarify the future relations between the two countries. Therefore, in order to clarify the future relations between the two countries, the core issue of the dispute, namely the status of Somaliland, would have been addressed and resolved. Despite nine rounds of talks between 2012 and 2022, the expected outcome of the talks resolving the one issue of the dispute, the status of Somaliland never materialized, as there were no political breakthrough. The limited uh, agreements made on the preferred political breakthrough, the limited agreements made on the preferred technical issues were never implemented as Somalia neglected <coughs> on all the agreements. During these 10 years, Somalia has demonstrated a complete lack of interest in meaningful dialogue. In fact, Somalia has used the dialogue to pursue policies aimed at weakening Somaliland's independence and its stability to develop including weaponizing international aid and economic development. Given that there has been no progress over the last 10 years since the dialogue between Somaliland and Somalia started. Somaliland believes that the dialogue had failed to achieve its objective. The reasons for failure lies entirely with Somalia. Efforts to undermine the dialogue process as demonstrated by its harmful actions. Willful disregard to the agreements we have agreed. Given that dialogue is not an option for Somalia as administrated by its conduct, bad faith and continuous sabotage of the dialogue. Somalia believes that it is unfair to Somalia to be holding to be holding to dialogue process that has failed to achieve its objectives and has no hope of succeeding. It is that difficult to imagine that we that what that what has not been achieved in ten years can be achieved in one or two years. So now believes that there is no future in the continuation of that dialogue with Somalia and is prepared to pursue all available avenues for this international recognition. Given above, Somalia believes that the international community has a moral obligation to support <coughs> Somalia's pursuit of international recognition. The merits and promise of closer us Somaliland collaboration. In fact, this chapter has already begun. 
from regional security to democracy promotion to economic development. The objectives and values sought by the United States align entirely with Somaliland's vision. Recent months have, been, have seen an increase in engagement and collaboration, including protective visits by Somaliland Foreign Affairs to Washington and the recent visit to Hargeza by a delegation of senior U.S. congressional staff, a historic first for Somaliland. I am very heartened. <laughs> I am very heartened by these developments, by sustained direct dialogue and partnership is needed if we are to effectively address the growing challenges and truly advances our shared security, economic and governance objectives in the region. An important foundational element of this partnership is the establishment of the parliament, U.S. diplomatic presence in Hargeza, to establish of a permanent U.S. diplomatic presence in Hargeza. Several nations, including Ethiopia, United Kingdom, Denmark, Kenya, Taiwan, Turkey and the United Arab Emirates have diplomatic offices in our capital, and the United States of America should join their tasks, <laughs> their ranks. <laughs> With this presence and regular visits by senior U.S. officials, we will be able to cooperate more closely in a number of key issues and key areas. Let me briefly highlight few areas where Somaliland's capabilities and proven track record can be valuable resources for like-minded countries. As I, noted, as I noted earlier, Somaliland has successfully deterred threats to our homeland and piracy in our territorial waters. Our Coast Guard Guards work with partners such as the United Kingdom to guarantee the safety and the security of maritime trade through the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. We work with foreign partners and international NGOs to minimize illicit trafficking and smuggling networks. We have much to offer in terms of community-based security successes and closer cooperation with the United States on these efforts would advance shared interest and strengthen its needed presence in the region. Similarly, our recent modernized infrastructure, particularly the Port of Berbera, is well positioned to support security operations, logistics, and humanitarian aid as well as expanded commercial opportunities throughout the region. We appreciate U.S. government's interest in PEPRA and hope discussions will continue to explore utilization and further development of what could be a vital gateway for trade, investment, and security cooperation between the two countries. On governance issue, Somaliland's democratic government is the only, I will say again, it's the only one of the one of its kind in the region. It serves as a beacon for our neighbors and others whose citizens seek opportunities to engage in democratic process. Over the last 30 years, we have built our democratic norms and institutions and ensure more three, more three peaceful transition of power. We are aware that there are still certain issues to be addressed to ensure that our electoral process 
is more perfect. We are working on ways and means with our laws of enhancing the role of women in, politi in our political process and increasing their participation as candidates in future elections. <laughs> so Maryland has much to offer. Others seeking to build their own democratization process, from updating voter registration systems to to ensuring the objectivity of national election authorities, and from managing polling stations to facilitating the work of independent election monitors. We have 20 years of practical experience to share. We will welcome greater partnership with the United States government and civil society organizations to advance democratic norms in our region and elsewhere and to further improve our democratic institutions. In a troubled region that has experienced significant setbacks for democratic governance and continues to be to face serious uh, threats from terrorists and other violent extremist groups. The successes of Somalia are not small achievements. Our friends in the United States understand this and we are grateful for their <coughs> continued engagement and support. Yet, this is just at the beginning. We can and must work more closely together if we hope, if we hope to compete with and overtake these who seek further instability and dependency on our region. There are so many pro uh, practical and important steps we can take, and with each one, so Maryland will demonstrate to our partners and the world that our ultimate goal of international recognition should be granted as an equal with other nations. So Maryland will be able to contribute even more effectively to a sustainable and prosperous future to the Horn of Africa. Building in our own experience in foregoing an oasis of stability on the world troubled region. The road ahead may be long, but I'm sure and confident that even that Somaliland will be able to count on us, that will be able to count on U.S. support as we pursue shared objectives and journey toward our long, deferred destination is a free, sovereign, and democratic Somaliland country. Thank you very much for your attention.